I heard you were looking for me. You have quite some reputation. Why don't you cut the crap? Watch your step, mate. You're just one man. By the popular man. I think she likes me. I thought you were more sensible. I want to make you an offer. A very good offer. I have to refuse. May I ask why? You're not my type. We can still be friends. Great timing. Not you, Walt. Who did you expect? It's my number. Well, your secretary would have been nice. Well, she's hot. She ran off with a colleague of mine last week. Oh, too bad. Any other news? Well, you aren't exactly in demand. Not anymore. Ouch! That hurts. Like all truth. Okay, apart from the script I sent you. Have you read it? Walt, you know I like you. Jack, wake up. The years of plenty are over. And there's only so much I can do for you. This is it. But this is low budget. And I mean low budget. I've had cars that cost more. Head past tense. Jack Walker does not play supporting role. Film students. Might be Jack's return to the big screen, and we could be a part of that. Probably dropouts. Oh, he needs to return to being an action star instead of the choke he's become. You'll be fine. And by the way, you'll have the tickets in your mail. Oh, 
Walker, I can't tell you what an honor it is to be able to welcome you to the set. My name is Pete, and I'm the assistant director. Yeah, cheers. Uh, uh, question, where's my trailer? I'd like to park my car and uh, freshen up a little. Uh, the car park is over there. Mr. Walker! Mr. Walker! Mr. Walker. That's the car park, and we really don't have any trailers, but don't worry. We've got some catering over there. Loads to eat, and you can relax on the benches between days. Benches? Oh, we've got some lectures too. <clears throat> Deck chairs, huh? So I suppose this is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. No, no, we are all in the hotel, no worries. It's also where we are filming tomorrow, the part from the second act. Oh, you mean the ruins whose better days lie buried deep beneath the crumbling plaster of the walls? You've really read the script thoroughly. That's just how it's described in the script. In reality, it's not half as bad. Your coffee better be good. Yeah, I think the establisher would work best just from the roof over there. But could we get that secured? Oh, but then Hank's in the shop. Hank, could you not move your stuff somewhere else, please? Déjà vu. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Remind me why I wanted to put him there before? Oh, I don't know. Hank, why are you standing there? Why don't you ask the director? He's killing me softly. At least Jack Walker isn't here yet. Hey everyone, Jack just arrived. Could someone just push me off the roof, please? That's not like prematurely. Right now he's enjoying our buffet. Sorry, but the keys got lost with your partner. Old school. Good. Perfect, thank you. You can switch off the engine there. That was great, Jack. It was a really nice timing. Ah, uh, routine. <laughs> so what scene do we want to do next? Uh, the car stunt. Ah, wonderful. Let's do it. Home 
home, sweet home. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Chris. So you planned out the scene, would you mind? Yes, thank you. So this is the scene where Thorns so or you, Jack, comes crashing into the warehouse and the car. The car enters over there. Carl tries to get out of the way, but the car hits him. He throws himself over the roof, and the car comes screeching to a halt in a nice light. All right. So we'll start with your close-ups in the car first, and then the stunt driver will take over to do the slide, yeah? Stunt driver? You kidding me? The man is great. You will love him. <laughs> Boy, I do my own stunts, comprende? My fans want to see me at the wheel. <laughs> it's been rehearsed already. Yeah, done it a million times before. It's routine. Listen, the insurance will... Yeah, yeah, I'll take responsibility. Don't worry. Make sure we get it in writing. Sixty-four, take one. All yeah. right, cheers. Hey, man. Yeah. Car comes in, hits you, roll over it, and exit frame. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody ready? First positions. Wait for the signal. Who's the wrong guy? What do you mean the wrong guy? You said you were professionals. So why was he standing around in the middle of the set? Let's keep that secret from the press, right? Just got promoted. Where's the mark? The mark's gone. One mark? Okay. No problem. I can do it again. We got it. Next scene. Jack, you can take a break for now. We will continue with Sylvia's scene. Okay, sounds good. Need a coffee? <sighs> Hello? 
Now work your magic, my dear. Nicole, and I think you're the greater magician. Miss Meadows. Well, thank you. According to the script, a witch is more like it. <laughs> <laughs> but please call me Sylvia. What have you got planned for me? Um, well, I thought I'd like to highlight your cheekbones a little and to darken your eyes that would make you seem colder, more <laughs> resolute, and we could start with some foundation and concealer. To turn back time on me. I came to terms with time. <laughs> so, you don't mind being the baddie? Hmm. Everyone should play the villain once in a while. Between us, villains are much more fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pete. Um, could you send a few people over to the hotel to prepare the set? That's not on the schedule until tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I'd just like to be on the safe side. Um, I've had enough surprises today for my liking. Mm. Also, could you call the owner? Just make sure that's okay. Well, I would like to, but this whole area is a total dead zone. Surprise! I'll send the guys. The building is not only empty, it's up for sale. In a pinch, you can give the owner a few more euros. <clears throat> Hello, ladies. Jack Walker. Well, this is an unexpected honor. I wanted to get to know my charming co-star personally. A real gentleman. Wow, you look uh, young. The years have been very kind to you. It's all thanks to Nicole. She's worked hard. Thank you, dear. <laughs> we'll see each other on set. Okay. Let's turn back the time. Do you know just how charming and innocent your daughter looks? As soon as thou takes hold, Thorn. She takes the Lord after her mother. The same look in her eyes when she's afraid. So many similarities. And not to forget that I have them both in my power. Do you know what the advantage is of having several hostages? No need to hold back. So now, for the last time, where are my drugs? And cut. Incredible. Nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. Very intense. Our hero doesn't get unnerved so easily. We need Jack. Overpowering the gods. Um, can somebody check and see how far Chris has gotten with him? Okay, reset. Three, two, one, go. Shit. Are you okay? <laughs> so convincing, right? <laughs> Tommy, is this your first action film? It's just a bit of stage magic, Pete. Now you're the camera. Look. 
Poor. It looks so real. So it's just a question of perspective. It's not that simple, boy. No perspective alone isn't enough. You got to sell it to him, right? If she hadn't thrown herself down so hard, if she'd kept quiet about it, you wouldn't have given a damn. You know? So, grand gestures for a great show. We're actors, right? Okay, let me show you how the pros do this. Yeah, close it. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, man. Are you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Action! What was that? My face! Jack, everything okay? <laughs> well, ask her. Amateur. Jack, you were meant to block it as rehearsed. It was an accident. I was making films when you guys were still wearing diapers. There are no accidents with Jack Walker. Pretty good. We can do another one right now. If we go straight to the end, we could just shorten the scene. <sighs> shorten the scene, yeah. That's what we'll do. Chris? Even the signal here is low. Gone with the wind. Important call? Yes. Delivery service. I need something proper to eat. Not that crap over there. I was uh, thinking of ordering sushi, actually. Then you should for two. Well, you're best off not touching that would-be coffee. Could be your last. Hey, some milk and sugar and you hardly notice it. Keeps you awake, too. Try it. Uh, I'd rather have some espresso, though. You're best off getting used to it. I think the team here is pretty okay. Yeah, I'm totally green behind the ears. Amateurs, you know. No. They haven't even prepped that gun for you correctly the other day, remember? It was me who was the amateur. Guns are not exactly my speciality. Oh, really? After all your films? I'm better with knives. Okay. Well, let me show you something. Imagine someone has a knife to your throat. Right? Okay. I'll show you. Come on. 
put it to my throat. Right. Right hand grabs the knife, left elbow to the body. Grab the knife, turn around, bend the wrist, and take away the knife. Easy. Okay, wanna try? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Here we go. Right, so right hand to the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you learn fast. All right. I'm very elegant too, by the way. Finish your coffee. Hmm. All right, watch. Action. What about we cut right from the fight? Hey, what do we do with these bags? I don't know, man. Okay. I think it would be better if we move over to the hotel today already so Jack can get a little rest and relaxation. Hey, I don't need to rest or relax. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're completely off schedule anyway. Let's just do Sylvia's speech to the team, yeah? Chris, can you make sure that Jack returns to his room? The rest of us can pack everything up. Let's get going. We want to get this in the can today. Jack? Easy boy, just painkillers. And you sure you take them like that? Don't tell anyone.
Hocker. Who are these guys? No idea. But there's lots of them. And they're setting up shop in our dead drop. <sighs> Shit. You can't pick up the package like this. Too risky. This one's for the boss. Come. Find some signal. We should all be in white, I think. Um, by the time she hits here, we should be moving closer. Someone's come a long way to cause me trouble. This just smells of my cousin, Victor. Bastard. What do you want to do? Go in there now before they get all settled in. And tell them, be friendly, but make sure they get the point that the little bastard should keep his nose out of my business. This is a family matter. I said friendly. But make sure they get the points. All right, everyone, first position. So, Kim, speech to henchmen, take three. And action. The plan is as follows. I want you to surround the house. Be sure that there are no routes left to escape. I don't want anyone inside getting suspicious. So make sure that you have everything covered. Don't worry about our hero. He's got his mind on other things. And it's no use hoping for help from elsewhere. As soon as you're ready, it's gotta go fast. No holding back. No mercy. Strike!
Well done. No trouble at all. Disappointingly so. These are not Victor's guys. Oh, here's the boss. Jack Walker. Move! when they see you. See that? One punch. I still got it. Great, man. There are small of them out there. What the hell are these guys? Oh. Hey, who are you guys? What do you want? Did you really think you could simply take off with our package? <clears throat> what? Hurry up. So, what are you supposed to be? Film crew. We're making a film. Look. Just look at our equipment. Lights, cables, cameras. This is a pretty small camera for a film. It's... it's modern. What have you done with our package? Package? Why don't you tell us what's really going on here? I will be getting to you in a minute. For now, just... Sylvia Meadows? Sylvia Meadows. Please excuse me for not recognizing you sooner. I did not expect a star like you in front of a camera like this. And I haven't heard from you in the papers for years. Welcome to the digital age. Everything is online these days. Oh. There is only useless junk in those bags. Kata, Sylvia Meadows. Yeah. So, where are my goods? My goods are delivered here. I pick them up, but instead, all I find is this stuff here. So, where are my goods? We don't know. Uh. 
Pastor does. We were just cleaning. I didn't see anything, I swear. <sighs> Boss. We have a problem. A bit more self-confidence, boy. I mean, we wiped the damn floor with them. Now, for real, Jack, do you really think they were looking just for us? What do you mean? I'm worried about the others. Oh, like a nuclear tanker. We'll just take him out, one by one. Come on, sidekick. Sidekick? Now, who did this? Walker. Jack Walker. Jack Walker? Is this my lucky day? First Sylvia Meadows and now Jack Walker? You know the guy? Oh, Kata. Kata. Jack Walker. The action star. The lone hero. Nuclear tanker. Dark demons. Revenge served twice. Suffice it to say, he's a big name. This hostage crisis must be almost boring for him. Let's get out first and check the cars, then we can warm up for distraction. Yeah, clever. I like it. No, not blow him up for distraction. Let's get help. Come on. First things first. Grab a few of the guys and go find our package. Hmm? And if I bump into our action star, May I? If he's still playing the hero, come back and tell me. I think I would enjoy meeting him. And I'd rather that he was still breathing. You want to go and leave our friends behind? There's too many of them, Jack. Apart from my stuntmen, no one here knows how to defend themselves. Haven't you noticed? Huh? There isn't any more fighting going on. You think Walker will attack? Let him. He's just an actor. He'll go down like all the others. Once we got the package, maybe we'll have ourselves a little hunt. Package? They think I'm alone. You do that thing from before. Yeah. On the screw with us. Hey, you looking for me? Want an autograph? Black's my color anyway. Hey, hey, what's this package you're looking for? Huh? Tell me.
What? What was that? You're trying to prove yourself or what? They could have killed us. Hey! Who do you think you're talking to? All right. Now you're the action star. Now you listen to me carefully. You know, I've been patient with you a lot. I deal with lying, cheating agents, producers, managers, who sell you out in a second for their next meal ticket. I eat your rodent food, and I skip over the fact that the script isn't worth the paper it's printed on. <laughs> Whatever. In the end, it'll just be another shit movie to download for free. Jack, stop with that bullshit. And I'm not gonna take any shit from you, a random little stunt coordinator, because I was a movie star, goddammit. You've got a lot of big offers, have you? Then why are you here? I was hoping to work with a legend, Jack Walker. But all we got is a slow old man who cries like a baby. <clears throat> Let's save the others. What happened? Why are you alone? I bumped into your action star, Jack Walker. And? And you're right. He's still playing the hero. Oh, what did you do? Tell me. I watched. It was quite entertaining. You did want him in one piece, right? Yes. Yes, good. Looks like he really wants to be the hero in our story. Doesn't that make you the bad guy? Yes. Yes, it does. And luckily, I have the script. And the cast. <sighs> At least I had an idea. Your turn. Got one. And this isn't just some kind of social media viral prank to promote a film? No, Tom. It's not a social media prank. This is serious, Tom. That serious. We have to get help, but there is no way out by car. We're completely cut off from the outside. What do you want me to do? Well, you're the set runner. Run. Jack's right. They don't know about you. If you hurry, you'll be in town in a few hours and can't get help. What about you? Aren't you coming with me? Mr. Walker! You've done good, Walker. My respect. I'd like to finally meet you in person. So, come here! Oh, and by the way, I am not alone. You can say something now. Or you can scream. The scene works either way. Jack! Don't 
trust him. It's a trap. I hope you don't mind cliches. So what will it be, Jack Walker? A hostage will die every ten minutes. You know the beautiful thing about having so many hostages? I don't have to hold back! Bastard. He's bluffing. He convinced me. Are you still here? Get going. Hey, come on, man. We're screwed. Oh, and I forgot to say, the countdown started eight minutes ago. <laughs> Do you want to walk straight into his arms? I can let her get killed. The action hero stuff didn't work out. We learned that today. So I'm no use to anyone here. Jack. What? You might not be a hero. But you are a star. And those are your fans waiting for you. Play along. Give them a show. Help us on the way. Full Jack Walker, I'll do my best. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Such a pity, you know? I thought he'd have more respect for a co-star. You haven't worked with him before, have you? <laughs> you are definitely not a disappointment. Hey, asshole. Oh. Heroes. All for the drama. Always waiting for the last second. Oh, that was close. Very close. Too close. Are you sure you're finished with the female lead? Can you afford to do the rest of the movie without me? That's a good point. No, I still have use for you. You said too close. So I will be directing this movie now. It's a biographical film. Something very dear to my heart. A true hero. The real villain. Thought you'd be taller. I can still kick your ass.
Cut. Can't you tell your little pet to back off? Make me. Kata. Please. Call me Alexei. You know, normally, I would be annoyed by the way you piss off my team. But the fan in me loves it. You wouldn't believe how hard it used to be for us in the East to get films from the West. Your movies were everywhere. Sure, bad translations, terrible quality. It's the black market. But ultimately, Jack Walker was idolized by everybody. Myself included. As a matter of fact, I wanted to be just like you. Started to train like you. I wanted to look like you. And at one point, I even tried to be an actor. But they didn't want me. Industry. <laughs> but that's okay, because now I'm in charge of this film. Oh, is that why you killed that director? Wanna be a star? No. Between you and me, this right here, low budget, beneath you. Much prefer your older films. Well, you can get the DVDs, all legal. You know, if that's any difference to you. I was thinking more of a Best of. Live and in color. The full Jack Walker. Come on. You're gonna be okay. Just hang in there. I have to find out what they're after. They're looking for something. They think we stole their stuff. The package. And the others? They're still inside. I'll find them. You just rest. We'll come get you, okay? okay. Sound. Yes, boss. And just to keep the pressure on Jack, Miss Meadows here, you could stay as well. Hmm? She already knows her part. I can't stand repeats. Well, too bad you play such a beautiful damsel in distress. Have a seat. I've put together a little list here in your script. The full Jack Walker, all the works. You see, I've always wondered if you really were a dangerous man, or if it was all just Hollywood trickery. So, 
we're going to find out what you're truly capable of before moving on to the main event. You. What's your part in all of this? I'm the assistant director. Good. Everybody out! Get out! Lock them in a the room upstairs. I'm the new director. And your new job? Is to attack Jack. What? You hurt the man. Let's see what kind of damage he can do to a wimp like you. I don't want to. I can't. Kata here is my new assistant director. If you don't, she will shoot you. And if you hold back, she'll shoot him. I'm sorry. No need. Justice kid. Thank God you guys are okay.
Does anyone know anything about this package? I've moved some bags down to the basement, but I don't know what was in them. Okay, I'll check it. You go get Steve. Mm -hmm. And you guys, come with me. I have something special for you. Cut! Cut, everybody! Nice! Good work! Good work! What a load of crap! What did you say? Boss, anyone can see that this guy is not a fighter. He's a chicken. No, not quite. More like uh, an appetizer. The old clown won't be able to stand two minutes against me. Look, he already needs a crutch. Oh, shut up. You measure the villain by the greatness of the hero. And no one's talking him down anytime soon. You've seen yourself what he's capable of. And there's more to come, I'm sure of it. Hmm. Hmm. Now here's your crutch. And there's yours. So let's see who's left standing. Hmm? You'd better make sure it's you. Or and then you won't need the crutch anymore. Action! Almost had me fooled for a moment there. Cut to the end of the script. I think it's time. The grand finale. Confrontation between hero and 
Willen. Hey, what you got there? Happy pills? Steroids? Painkillers? My joints? Jack, 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 don't be ridiculous. Kata, take that stuff away. No tricks. You used to be my role model. Hmm? From nobody to bodybuilder. And from bodybuilder, you even made it to Hollywood. I'm never going to make it in Hollywood. But if I finish you off in front of the camera, then I am the ultimate badass. And that's worth quite a lot in my business. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do your crap without me. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm through. <laughs> Jack, everybody knows the hero makes a comeback. You just need a little motivation. Gata, motivate him. That's my boy. Ah, oh, shove it. more. In your films, you're a whole lot better. So disappointed. <laughs> Time gets the better of all of us in the end. We're fighting an old man here. And you can be well proud of filming that. Well, all having a good time here, huh? Isn't he such a tough guy? Does he look badass? No idea, actually. Hang on a second. I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. I hope you don't mind him. What are you doing, Jack? Take those things off your nose. You know, you seem the type of guy who always bullied the kids with glasses in school. But don't stop because of me now. Take that thing off your nose and fight. Why? Disappointment's written all over you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You know, acting is not one of your talents. And you can cut as much as you want, but that film's always gonna be about some bully beating up some old man. Your Jack Walker does not exist anymore. That's right. It's over. You've ruined it. But I'm not going to let you get away with it. Take those things off his nose. Come on, Jack. Round two.
my idol, Jack Walker, on the ground. <laughs> How does it feel to go from primetime Hollywood to a complete failure? Huh? And what happened to kicking my ass? <laughs> you couldn't save the hostages, and you couldn't even save your face. Hey, asshole. That was not his job. It was just to keep you busy for a while. What is this, a stand-in? Look outside. It's snowing. for Steve. Oh! <laughs> 
What now, Jack? I would have made a great villain. You okay? Did you really think you could get away with it? <laughs> that we would forget? No, this is personal. Blood calls for blood. Chris. Hey. How are you? It's been a while. What brings you here? I happen to be in town. Just had to look you up. Also, I was curious if Walter has already sent you the new script. Well, you know, actually... Wait a moment. Oh dear. Nice place you got here. 
Often I expected something a bit bigger from someone like you. Yeah, don't get started <laughs> on that again. <laughs> oh, so, so it's actually out. Walter sent us a copy. Speaking of it, what do you say? Will you be filming with us? Well, we're still thinking it over. Oh, come on. The others are already in. Sylvia. Only if you finish watching this movie with us. Sure. Okay. 